Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly spider control. If you suffer arachnophobia, this video is not for you. Well, hi there. My son was just down in the garden here, uh, right next to where I work in the garage. He was playing with his toys, doing some digging and things, as children do. And he said, Dad, I saw a spider. I saw a black spider. And of course, he went running inside. I said, well, where was the black spider? He said it was down on the ground here, and it ran in this direction. So I'm sort of thinking that maybe that there, hmm, might be spider zone. I'll just clear these bricks, and as a rule in Australia, whenever you're lifting something up, uh, you look underneath first. Uh, there's very good reasons why. I can see some sort of gnarly thing there, but I will take these bricks away. And I'm very much inter interested in that piece of metal there. Once again, I'll check under here first. Mm, looks not too bad. Okay. I don't know what that is. Uh, I've got a sneaky suspicion they sting. Whatever it is, it's got a billion legs. It must be very expensive to buy shoes. Well, I'll clear some of this debris away. I don't know where that multi-legged thing has gone to. It may have gone underneath there. A uh, very rusty piece of metal, this great big piece of angle. Um, you can see bits are just flaking off it. This gets nice and hot during the day, and redback spiders or spiders like that would love to live under there, I'm sure. Uh, I'm feeling a bit scared, actually. I might put a glove on uh, when I'm moving that metal. Okay, a moment of truth. Then well, we'll just ease this over, and we'll see what we have underneath here. Oh, God, I hate this. Oh, no. Oh no, it doesn't look good at all, I can tell you that. It doesn't look good at all. Now I'm pretty sure um, uh, these are egg sacs for spiders. Maybe I'm totally wrong, I know I'll be corrected if I'm wrong, and I think there's actually a spider just hiding in behind there. I'll just try and get it to come out. Funnily enough, it actually looks like... Strangely enough, it looks like a black widow. There it is there. Oh, okay. Very strange. Um, it looks like a Black Widow style spider or a red back spider, but it's got white stripes across the back. It's got a very typical messy web uh, like uh, red backs make. I don't know what Black Widows do. People, you know, whenever people see a red back spider, especially Americans, they say, oh no, Leo, it's a, that's a Black Widow. Um, I'm not sure whether we do have Black Widows in Australia or not. That spider is not moving much now, is it? Probably playing a bit dead, probably thinking it's under a bit of threat. Hmm. Now, I'll be honest here, uh, I've never seen a spider like it. It looks like a red back with white, a white back on it. And people say, oh no, Leo, it's a black widow. I know, because that's what American people see all the time. Uh, I'm trying to get it to do something here. Oh, boy, oh boy. I don't like the look of this one, I can tell you. I do not like the look of that one at all. It's playing hide and seek with me. Mmm, I've got a, maybe a new way of dealing with this spider. I don't want it around. Uh, it's not where my children are playing. I've actually just aroused another spider here. I'll get that one to move. What do you think that one is? Small but quite sprightly. Spider experts, can ID that one for me? And the nightmare spider's pretending to hide there. So what I've got here is a piece of metal that gets nice and warm during the day. I've got very messy web going on here. I've got these things that look like spider egg sacs to me. It's that right time of year for this. That is the, the warming up of spring in Australia. And we've got that spider there pretending to hide out on me. He's just there. Or she. Yeah, look at that. Mm, sneaky, aren't they? Well, I'm going to bring in an old friend I used in another spider video, and people said I didn't use it right. This time I'm going to do what someone suggested. I put up the comment that I saw. Uh, apparently this spider will be killed in a second with this method. There's also a fair bit to read there, as you can read. Uh, but I'm going to try and give this a go and nail that spider. Okay, Mrs. Spider, it's about to get very, very hot. The spider is right in the middle of the screen. That was about a second blast. <laughs> I haven't found the spider yet. It actually blew the eggs away as well. <laughs> it's quite amazing, actually. Let me just see if I can find that spider. It's actually like playing CSI spider here. I think, I think that's the spider body there. Um, and I think that spider is cactus. Uh, that wasn't a very long blast. The spider's history. The egg sacs were also very heavily disrupted by that flame, even though I wasn't aiming at them, they were a little way away. Yeah, I'd say they're fried. Yes, anyone wants spider eggs for breakfast? 
Oh, and I think there's been some collateral damage. Uh, he's not looking too healthy now. I think he got fried in the heat of getting rid of that spider. Hopefully the spider issues have gone away here. Hang on a second. What is that there? Okay, um, that's a red back spider. It mustn't have liked uh, the heat just I've turned on. That thing looks nasty. Yes, um, red back spider. American people say that's a black widow. Um, the red backs have got obviously a red stripe in the back. That's a very, very uh, nasty looking female. And I'll have to deal with this spider as well. I've got the perfect spider solution. Just wait for this horrible thing to settle down. It can probably smell the deodorant and the feeling for web and think, where have my egg sacs gone? Well, honey, uh, they've been sent to another dimension. Oh, I'll tell you what, this thing is actually quite active. I don't want this around at all. Uh, these are the sorts of spiders you want to deal with and you want to get totally rid of. You don't want them around the house at all. They'll set up nests where it's convenient for them and inconvenient for you. These are the sorts of spiders you just do not play with. You don't tinker with them. They can get inside gloves, they can get inside shoes. They love to set up in warm areas. Uh, they are really dangerous spiders. And in Australia you see lots and lots of these spiders at certain times of year and there's other times of year where you just don't see them at all. You know, some people say, oh, you can put these spiders in your hand. No way would you put a spider like this in your hand. If they get into the webbing of your hand between your fingers, they can easily bite you and that's where they'll get you. Boy, this thing is active. But they say it had um, a bit of heat or something from the fire before and it's feeling very agitated, uh, very aggressive indeed at the moment, the spider. It looks like it's trying to reset up its webs here. Uh, I don't know what that first spider is. Now I see this one, I can relate this sort of spider to this environment. Uh, setting up a web, I think. Yes, um, sometimes you do wonder about spiders. They are sort of wondrous to look at. Um, but these sorts of spiders, they're wondrous in nature, not round your house. What is that spider doing? It's going crazy on me. Totally crazy. Yeah, the spider is just trying to work out What's happened to my family? Where's everyone gone? Why is my web all disrupted? Well, you'll find out the reason really soon. What worries me was where was the spider when I actually lifted this piece of metal over? I didn't see it initially, uh, but it's certainly coming out to play now. Okay, the spider's right in the middle of frame. I'm gonna have to work very fast here because this is a sprightly spider. Hasta la vista, baby! Okay. Wasn't a long blast, let's see if the spider's history. <laughs> okay, uh, time for the spider inspection. I don't think there's an inch of life left in that red back spider, that deadly red back spider. Oh, look at that. Looks like the other one, that one looks like it was having eggs and pregnancies or whatever else they do. Um, yeah, very different effect, isn't it? When you actually light up the deodorant, spraying the deodorant all by itself, uh, well, basically has no effect at all. A little bit of heat and you've got, well, you've got that on your hands. Yes, uh, very, very curious indeed. Uh, but then again, I'm not surprised to have a redback spider in this sort of environment. Probably the best thing for me to do is to get rid of this old bit of steel, get rid of it totally uh, because it's nothing but basically redback spider nests underneath things like this but it's a reminder to us all that really spiders will set up anywhere they want if the environment is right for them. Um, I think down here before what I should have showed was all the little things that the spiders have been eating. There was a whole bunch of things that they'd been eating in there, they caught in the webs. It was almost like the perfect spider trap, the little insects would crawl up underneath there and where else are you going to go with your strange spider's web? Well, I better leave this dangerous video here. I did learn something in this. The Rexona spray does work uh, when it's set up right. As I showed in the other video, the Rexona spray had little or no effect on what was a monstrous, scary redback spider. Yes, it's always interesting reading the comments. I do learn a lot about spider control, and it was actually a very, very humane way to kill spiders. I think that was very, very fast. As always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.